The oceans are beautiful, vast, and fascinating. Unfortunately, we've been treating them like trash cans, polluting them with plastic waste that has created an enormous problem. Our oceans are constantly under threat from pollution, with thousands of tons of debris floating in the water and washing up on the shore every year. While this may not seem like a big deal, it's causing irreversible damage to marine life and disrupting the food chain. Fortunately though, some people have come up with clever solutions to this problem that they hope will help us clean up our oceans, using robots. To help you find the best trash cleaning robot on the market, we've compiled this list of the six best trash cleaning robots for oceans. So let's get started. We hear about it constantly in the news. Our oceans are becoming increasingly polluted with garbage, and there's no telling what impact it's having on marine life. 4. Ocean Mobile Skimmer This incredible device takes the form of a robotic wave skimmer, using the power of ocean waves to skim trash off the surface of water and then deposit it into its storage chamber. The goal of this skimmer is to intercept floating debris before they settle on the ocean floor. The Ocean Mobile Skimmer works by capturing trash as it floats through the water, so you can use it whether you're at a beach or near a body of water. It includes two main parts, a net and a motor. To work, you would place the net in the water, then turn on the motor to generate movement and catch the trash. Once there's enough trash caught in the net, pull it out of the water and put it in a garbage bag. Then, tie off the top of the bag with string and throw it away. Since no one knows what's lurking in our oceans, we need something like the Ocean Mobile Skimmer to keep it clean. Next in the list is Interceptor. Have you seen the pictures of plastic waste floating on oceans? It's hard to believe that we can be such a careless species. A company called the Ocean Cleanup has found a way to turn this around. They launched an Interceptor boat, which takes out all the trash before it hits the coastlines. The interceptors are also equipped with tuck tubes that pull the rubbish out of the water, so it can be hauled away from the water and disposed of at landfill sites. It is said that using these devices not only helps to keep our oceans clean, but they make things more sanitary for sailors as well. The Ocean Cleanup Boat Interceptor is equipped with a spinning ring that creates a large swirling vortex of water. As this vortex moves forward and encounters the trash, the trash sticks to it, forming a giant plug of trash. The Cleanup Boat Interceptor then takes the plug back to shore and dumps it onto a conveyor belt. The conveyor belt feeds all the gathered litter into one area and it is sorted through using screens that have different sized holes in them. The boats can detect objects even if they are under the water's surface or hidden beneath foam or oil slicks. These vessels have been helpful in improving fishing conditions too, as there will be less trash obstructing fishermen's views and damaging their gear. The typical budget cost for this machine is around $1 million. Now comes Manta. If you love the ocean and want to protect it from pollution, then the Manta Ocean Trash Cleaner will be right up your alley. This new device works to clean up all the trash that's floating on the surface of the water, as well as underneath it, collecting it in its own container so that it can be thrown away safely once you get back to shore. Manta Trash Cleaner utilizes water currents and vortex technology to trap debris without catching marine life in nets. An automated system propels and cleans the catch, separates marine life from debris, then pumps everything onto a conveyor belt that leads back onto the boat for sorting at shoreside stations. With just one boat equipped with Manta's technology, cleaning 10% of the world's oceans, they could remove 80 million tons of plastic in five years. Manta Ocean Trash Cleaner offers a very good opportunity to save marine life from cruel deaths by accidental ingestion or entanglement with discarded plastics floating in the world's oceans and other bodies of water. This ingenious system not only saves our oceans from toxic pollution, but it also helps keep boats and ships out of harm's way by providing a safer passage for them across our oceans. This is Seabin. The Seabin is essentially a dockside trash collector that can be installed on piers or other areas where large amounts of trash tend to gather in bodies of water like oceans, rivers, or lakes. 
It does this by sucking up debris like plastic bottles, bags, and food wrappers into its catch bag with the help of a pump, and then spitting out clean water into the surrounding ocean or lake below it. The Seaven works much like a pump, using gravity to suck in water from its top opening and pump it out of its bottom opening. Once the filter has collected enough waste, the bags are then removed and replaced. There are no chemicals involved, so there is no harm to fish or other marine life. Each seabin costs about $5,000, a small price to pay for creating clean oceans. The seabin works by sucking in debris from the water and filtering it through a biodegradable mesh bag. It is tethered to a mooring, usually ropes, and has a large rubber membrane with holes on top. The seawater enters the bottom of the bin, goes over three internal baffles, and finally exits at surface level after being filtered. All the while, fish are able to swim freely through the opening. With their funnel shape and depth design, seabins are perfect for marinas or other ports where currents can change direction quickly and often. Meet Jellyfish Bot the effects of climate change on marine life are widespread and devastating. IADES, a non-profit engineering firm, discovered that jellyfish can be used to clean the world's oceans through the creation of jellyfish bots. These robots are modeled after real jellyfish and use their propulsion methods to swim through the water, collecting trash as they go. Trash accumulates in the water due to ocean currents, winds, and tides because much of this debris consists of materials that marine animals can ingest or become entangled in. IADUS has developed a jellyfish-based trash collecting robot. This robot is autonomous, meaning it operates without external control systems from people on boats or remote controls. The bot moves through the water by contracting its bell and pushing against the surrounding seawater. It then reverts back to its resting state when it's no longer pushing against anything which allows it to take advantage of both horizontal surfaces as well as vertical surfaces. The bot moves with ease through varying currents, making sure that all areas are cleaned at least once every hour. Additionally, the bots have sensors that allow them to sense an object coming close and quickly move out of the way. These features help protect not only sea life, but also humans who may be in those specific areas for some reason. Additionally, because these bots do not require any energy source other than the sun's rays, they are environmentally friendly and inexpensive to use. These robots are made up of plastic and metal and have eight long tentacles with suction cups at the end. They use a computer program called motion planning to find their way around obstacles while also following instructions. The bots were designed for two purposes firstly to clean up oil spills, and secondly for trash collection. Not only does it collect an astounding amount of plastic waste from the ocean surface, but unlike many other cleanup plans proposed for our ocean garbage problem, there are no costs for power or operation. The main concern, however, is what happens to the plastics when they reach their final destination. Exposed to an atmosphere of salt water and sunlight, they begin a process called photodegradation. After six months in seawater, almost all of that plastic will have degraded into microscopic particles which have now entered every level of ocean life. They are eaten by zooplankton or small fish, who are then eaten by larger fish like tuna or swordfish. These tiny pieces of plastic get into our food supply and threaten us all. It's time for us to take responsibility for our trash and find ways to stop it from happening. Last in the list is ClearBot. What happens when ocean pollution doesn't end up in landfills? Well, it ends up in the ocean, of course. But what if we were able to clean up the ocean? That's where the ClearBot comes in. It uses computer vision and swarm robotics to identify and collect trash throughout the day. The robot is self-charging, self-navigating, and is equipped with AI for post-collection sorting.
A single clear bot can collect up to 250 kilograms of trash in a single mission and can also generate 100 times more data about marine trash. No marine animals are harmed with this robot. ClearBot's small size helps to clean smallest urban canals still being able to scale for large rivers or sections of ocean. Hope you like these ocean cleaning technologies and if you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.